Hi. My Hello. name is Maddie. Maddie? Uh, I agree with you about camping. My idea of a vacation is room service. It's right here. <laughs> this is a, this is camping. Bling, <laughs> <laughs> bling. Hello. <laughs> uh, a hamburger, fries, please, and a really nice bottle of white sparkling wine. <laughs> and, and not at room service prices. <laughs> What I, what I wanted to ask you is, is if you're sorry now that you're coming back that you won't have the opportunity to work with Ted. Okay. I'm incredibly sorry about that. That is really very, that is a big regret. Um, it all sort of, I, I don't know, it just all kind of imploded on itself last year because of scheduling. It was literally scheduling. And, you know, I, I'm, it's, I'm at fault for that because, just because I, I have such a tight schedule. And it just was impossible to do. And I honestly feel like he and I would have been so good together because he's, you know, he's, he's everything that I, he's dangerous, strange, you know, and he's uh, dark, all of that stuff that works really well with, with, with I think, the character of Anna. Hot. Hot? Hot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and he's really, you know, and he's really nice too. And really, he was very, very cool. And, and uh, I think we both felt that it was something quite exciting. And I think that it was a really good match. And and I and, I, and you know, you, you do get regrets about things. And and at the time, I was desperately trying to make it work. And uh, we just, we just, it just couldn't happen. It just couldn't happen. And you know, and he was sorry about it too. So. Thank you. Right here, this beautifully dressed young lady. Okay. How long are you back for? I'm just doing, uh, you know, because it's another scheduling thing. Rick is on tour, and I'm sort of, you know, doing how do I look, and uh, uh, and we. I think it, uh, it, lo it looks like it's going to be maybe another five shows or something, four shows. So it's not going to be that much, but I hope that we get to tell a little story. I go back this Tuesday. So. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 You know what I'm asking. <laughs> what you asking? You said dark, dangerous, hot. I have to ask, is there any hope of an Anna and Duke reunion? <laughs> oh! He's oh, up in my house right now. Tell me that. Yeah, oh, yeah. he's so up in my kids me. right now. Where's so, your house? This is out of our Yeah, he's yeah. been there for the weekend. Go. Oh, see ya. <laughs> no, are, are you and Ian doing anything together, honestly? Well, you know... He's my best buddy, as you know. I mean, we, we've been close since the moment we met. I mean, that's been it. Um, we both found our soulmate and, you know, his friends. And that's, uh, he's, I, I don't know. I mean, it would be strange now because after all these years of knowing each other, I, I don't know, you know, how it would work with him. <laughs> because at the time, you know, we, had, we didn't know each other so well. But, um, yeah, that would be, that would be amazing. But um, <laughs> yeah, it would it would be it would be great because uh, he makes me a much better actor. I mean, he you know he like I, I've become so much of a better actor when I'm working with him. And some people do that to you. It's like you know you don't you just need to sort of open your eyes and show up because that other person does all the work. Um, so he's kind of that kind of a person for me. So uh, I don't know. I mean, you know. I think both of us are too frightened to. Oh, <laughs> there he is. We're both too frightened to broach the subject, you know, because we're like so close, and it's like, uh, you know, it's like asking yeah. your best friend, you know. Yeah. I don't know how we do it, but yeah, he's adorable. Oh God. Oh, what am I? What do I have on my head? <laughs> Who's that poodle sitting on my head? <laughs> Who's that poodle right there? Do I have a copy of this? I do. I mean, like, ever? No, did I? Oh, and here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he just got back from Scotland, actually, and so he came straight up to see me. Um, I loved you on Charm. What was your favorite scene on Charm? On Charm? Um, uh, yeah, well, the 70s stuff was great. I think that was really fun. Um, oh, I know. Uh, there was a th I was in the diner. And I was I was working. That was my job. And all the three girls came back to see their mom. And outside, I dropped my purse. And Alyssa Milano, who I've known since she was really small, and that was a really sweet little scene. Like she helped me pick up my things from her bags. And she's just a, I I love her. She's just such a nice girl. And um and I and I seem to remember thinking that that was a really great connection. You know, at that at that point, because it's sort of difficult 
I find it hard on that show to make connections because they're like, okay, the monster's here. <laughs> right here. I'm like, oh, uh, what do I feel? What do I feel about the monster? <laughs> right now on the show, Robin is having a couple of issues. I mean, I think she needs her mother. Oh, is it, was she shot? Well, <laughs> oh, I, I wasn't there for that. <laughs> but, uh... Right now, I think she really needs some mother-daughter conversations because she's not, she doesn't have that outlet. Are you going to have any scenes with her, like where you guys actually have a conversation about Patrick or God, I hope babies so. or... Oh, things? yeah. We already did do a little thing about babies. Um, I hope we're going to have some conversations. Both Kimberly and I want that, you know. Um, yeah, I, I, I hope so. Uh, I can only say I hope so. I don't know, um, you know, what they have in store for me. Because the writers won't call me back. So we go to <laughs> Hi, what am I doing? Uh, oh, they'll get back to you. Okay, when? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing. So do, do you think Anna likes Patrick? Do you think that oh. she thinks that he's a good match for her? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think she's, you know, she could be suspicious of him, but I think she The one thing, the only thing that I really want to happen, I don't think it's going to happen this time, but I want to meet that... Jack Sky, mm, the one no. that shot my daughter. Yeah. Sebastian. <laughs> I really want to meet it. <laughs> so. Linda! Lisa! Lisa! Linda! Lisa! Okay. Mom does that too. I know. It's ridiculous. Okay. I'm like looking at Linda and then seeing Lisa. Okay, I have. Um, Lisa, first of all, I have to tell you, I got very upset. Oh. When Robin got did that's the only time I turned it back on when she was shot and her mom wasn't there. I was like, they should at least do a phone call. <laughs> no, here's the thing though. I did think it through. You know, somebody came somebody came up to me in a supermarket and they said, "What are you doing here? Why aren't you?" you know, the <laughs> I'm buying peanut butter so my son can smear it on my slip dresses. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing here. Yeah, they, they came up to me and they said, why are you not rescuing your daughter? She's being held hostage right now. I'm like, what? And she was shot and blah, blah, blah. And I thought it through because I thought, well, why aren't they calling? Wouldn't that be good? And then I thought, well, here's the thing. At a certain point, the baton needs to be handed over. And somebody like Patrick or somebody, you know, they someone else needs to rescue. It's like... Otherwise, it just will be that, you know, here we are, superheroes, and we're going to come in and do that. So it's like, you know, at a certain point, something needs to change. And so, and I think that that's probably, you know, what occurred there. And it needed to be Patrick that saved her. Isn't that right? Didn't he even save her? Yeah, sort, of. Sort, of. Sort, of. sort of. Sort of. But of course, I think. <laughs> no, but you know, I mean, it's so, it's like I tried to sort of... No, I know, and I know. Plus, you know, it gets... You're just, not in control of that, you know? I'm no, just, I'm not in control of that. I was commenting on hers, but I really have my own question. Uh, and you know First, what? The, oh, sorry. I'm Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> I have the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and you deserve it. <laughs> no, what I was going to say was that I think it gets explained that I was in the middle of a military coup, yeah. sort yeah, of yeah. somewhere or other. You you know, free, uh, did I explain it on Friday? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was stuck in an elevator in, you know, the, no, I was at, there was a military coup. No cell phone reception. No cell phone reception, some of them. Go ahead. So, the last question. Yeah. Not that good. I just was uh, wondering if you had any particular memories of working with John Riley. Well, I just saw him. Yeah. yeah. I just saw him here. I was? I didn't know that. Sorry. Yeah, he was here. Well, John, um... You know, I think the bit, the best scene that we ever did, and it's the one that sort of people often talk about, was in the catacombs, and it was me, Tris, and John, and it was such an extraordinary day, and we knew it was being, it was extraordinary because it was all, we were all confessing, I think, all of our sins or something like that, right? Wasn't that it? Yeah. And um, it was, and I think they were, when they confronting me about being a double agent, mm -hmm. I forget. Yeah, yeah, is that what it was? Uh, see, I see. It was really weird. I forget everything. I don't remember any of these scenes. But I, but they come back in dreams and drabs, So she's not healthy. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I remember that. And I just always remember um, it being really. It was always so vital when when we were all working together. You know, we really we used to get on set and we used to really believe. You know, we were going to go off and save the world. And um, one of the first days that I started working on the show. 
you know, that first day was an incredible blur. Um, but I remember John coming up to me and he was wearing a black leather jacket mm. and, uh, and he was just really cool, you know, he's like, oh, this is going to be so much fun. Finny, call me Finny, he still calls me Finny. Um, and it, it, it started that day and I was like, why do Americans always abbreviate your name? You know, it was, like, it was my first day, you know, I was just moved to America for goodness sake. And, and, um, and he said, we're going to have a lot of fun. And Tristan had also said that right after we finished the scene where um, he's, the drink gets slid over to him or something, that drink with all the things. And as we walked away from that scene, he said, we're going to have a lot of fun, kid. And uh, so that was, you know, nice. So, yeah. So they, those two guys were great to work with.